<laughs> you, just because this person is six foot four doesn't mean they've got a, a, a great big Johnson. Well. But <laughs> what was, was it big? Um, you know, it's that was a situation I tried to refrain from looking at entirely. Naturally, we all did. You can't unsee it. You saw we it. We can't unsee it. Um, it. I mean. You just watched 67-year-old pervert Bill Maher pressure a guest on his Club Random podcast to describe the genitals of a trans woman. And I use the word pressure specifically because that was not the first time he asked her, even though she made it very clear she was uncomfortable talking about this. Now, for those unaware, he was talking to transphobic grifter Riley Gaines, who made a name for herself attacking trans people after she tied with trans swimmer Leah Thomas for fifth place. And rather than focusing her ire on the four other cis women who beat her, this sore loser decided to take out all of her anger on the one trans woman that she competed with and tied with because she knows it's a lucrative grift. And she's right. She's appeared in Republican ads. She's been interviewed on Fox News. She even spoke at a Trump rally. And appearing on Bill Maher's podcast is just part of her ongoing media tour grift. And what she claims is that she wants to save women's sports. And when she says save women's sports, she's not talking about the lack of funding or respect for women athletes. She's talking about saving women's sports from trans women, even though, again, she was defeated by four other cis women. But she's more broadly against trans rights. Like, she's not just one-dimensional and specifically all about sports. She also denies trans existence, and overall, she's just a bigoted piece of shit. But this video is not about Riley Gaines, nor is it about trans women in sports. This video is about Bill Maher, and this ridiculous idea that you can be so disrespectful in your dehumanization of trans people, yet still claim that you're an ally to an extent, still try to ride the fence even though your behavior here is despicable. And we're going to watch Bill Maher dehumanize Leah Thomas and reduce this trans woman down to her genitals, but yet still try to suggest that he is an ally to trans people. Before they even get to that, Mars is going to make it very clear that he doesn't even know about the story regarding Riley Gaines and Leah Thomas. Let's watch. She is the trans swimmer who beat you? We tied. I did not get beat. Um, I get called. No, he beat you in the locker room with her big cock. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> in that <Yeah>. case. <laughs> How big is her cock? <laughs> well, You've I can... seen her cock, right? We all did. Well, how I mean, big is it? I mean, what, what kind of a <laughs> cock is it? Describe her cock. Let's see. Um, well, I don't want to well, see it. Well, I just wanted to hear it. Well, if I had to see it, you have to hear it. <laughs> First of all, this is a six foot four man, right? Well, six a trans four. woman. A male. Okay, this is what she would claim. Um, and she does go through life as a woman, correct? Like A woman with male parts yeah well, yeah, yeah right <laughs> i know i'm just trying to like <laughs> the, the like paint the portrait okay wait can i i'll be frank here i don't use she her pronouns when referring to yeah. thomas and i call it a male i think even using the term trans woman is giving thomas some of our language as women and i, I think Trans woman is a subset of male. I do not believe trans women are women, and so I'm saying that up front on yeah. the record. No, I'm basically on that page. I I think, of course, a trans trans is a is a true phenomenon. There are some people who are, and I'm sure this is the wrong phrasing, but people know what I mean. Born in the wrong body. Right. You know, they really do feel and want to be the sex they were not born. I get that, and those people should be protected and respected. That is my position as a one-issue candidate running for governor, no. <laughs> protected and respected. But I also agree with you that it is a different category. It is the, not the same thing as women, and you hear women all the time, and not just conservative women, who say, I am being erased. To be clear, he's referring to TERFs, and they may try to present themselves as feminist and or liberal, but that is nothing more than a thinly veiled attempt to hide and justify their bigotry. And it's insidious because it mainstreams and normalizes anti-trans bigotry more so than explicit transphobia that we may see from the likes of Matt Walsh or Tucker Carlson, because it gives them plausible deniability by being less in your face, right? It gives them the facade of respectability, and 
if they don't explicitly say, yeah, we want to eradicate transgenderism as Michael Knowles would, then people are more likely to take them seriously. It's sort of the J.K. Rowling approach to transphobia. It's still transphobia, but it's transphobia that sells more. Now, this sort of tactic that Bill Maher is trying to implement here is very common in the UK, and it was explained by British journalist Katie Montgomery in a recent episode of The Leftist Mafia. In the USA, your homophobes say that Esther like your transphobes just say they want to wipe trans people out. They don't give a fuck. People in the USA say what they think. And it's terrifying in when you see them saying we should eliminate trans people and stuff. In the UK, we have people with exactly the same views, but people don't talk like that. When mm. you want to eradicate trans people, oh, proper British. You, you have, yeah, you say like, I'm a, you know, I'm a, a centrist and I have just mild concerns about the way things are headed for, you know, trap children who are being manipulated by, you know, oh, people like with, it's, yeah, exactly. It's this kind of, um, wrapping your bigotry and, and sounding reasonable. And, and that's the core part of British politics is however extreme your views are, you have to present them in the most kind of like, you know, restrained, uh, conserved sort of way. So you never say like, oh, Gay people are destroying the family and we must get rid of gay marriage. You just say like, oh, you know, I just have concerns that, you know, what we're teaching children in schools about homosexuality is, uh, and you, you, what you're doing is presenting the same thing. And people understand it that way, but it does just sell better. In other words, we're hearing a more polite version of the same argument for the same exact cause. What Katie Montgomery described there is exactly what Bill Maher is engaging in. It's this respectable form of transphobia that gets less backlash, that convinces more normies. But ironically, as he is claiming that trans people should be protected and respected, he's asking about their genitals. I mean, don't you think if he actually believed that trans people should be protected and respected, he wouldn't ask disgusting questions like this? I mean, think about it. Do you think that he would ask this question about a cis person? Would he ask Riley Gaines about her genitals? Imagine if somebody asked him or his wife or his mother or his sister to describe their genitals. I mean, imagine the ex of a really popular actress came on his show. Do you think that he would be comfortable asking them about that person's genitals? I mean, of course not, because to him, trans people are... Not like other human beings, right? They're a spectacle there for his amusement. That's it. That's his beliefs. Even if he claims they should be respected. He's not walking the walk. He's just trying to talk the talk. And he's not even doing a good job at that. I mean, this disregard for trans dignity, it is the product of transphobia that he doesn't think applies to him somehow. And after he tried to make the case to protect and respect trans people... Well, he then remembered that, oh, he got distracted from the original question, all this talk of, you know, respecting trans people, and he got back to really what he wanted to ask, which was about Leah's genitals. I forget what the original question was, but I think it's describe that cock. <laughs> I, was trying to, uh, I was trying to run away from this question. I was trying to run away from this question. It was pretty evident that she was not comfortable talking about this, but since Bill Maher was oblivious, she even vocalized how uncomfortable that question made her and even tried to distract him by hate-mongering about trans people. And it kind of distracted him for a little bit, right? Hence the whole protect and respect argument. But ultimately, it got back to what he wanted to talk about the most which was Leah Thomas's genitals. And he continued to press her again after that clip, asking her, was it big? That was the first clip that you saw at the beginning of this video. Unbelievable. I mean, I shouldn't say that because it's not like this is shocking behavior for Bill Maher, but it's just, you know, th there's so many reasons why this is not okay. But there is a specific reason why transphobes in particular are hyper-focused on the genitalia of trans people. And interestingly enough, this was actually addressed in an interview with Leah Thomas, not that interview with Bill Maher, but why genitals are the focus of transphobes. And it's important to get her perspective, which is why I want to play this clip, since Bill Maher didn't give her the luxury of defending herself. So let's listen. They're using the guise uh, of feminism to sort of push 
transphobic uh, beliefs. And I think a lot of people in that camp sort of carry an implicit bias against trans people, but don't want to, I guess, fully manifest or, or speak that out. And so they try to just play it off as this sort of half support. They think about how twisted feminism, quote unquote, feminism has become. Their arguments you know, in order to exclude anybody in the trans category, you have to reduce women to reproductive capacity, which is, in my opinion, extremely anti-feminist. I don't want to put those women down either. And I know you don't want, don't want to either because I see pain. All of that was completely spot on. But reducing people down to their genitals is the go-to move for the policing of all queer people, not just trans people. I mean, think about it. If you have a vagina, you are sexually incompatible with someone else who has a vagina because God didn't design you that way. This is the old homophobic argument that we heard from evangelicals or you know if you have a penis by definition you can't have a feminine gender identity because that's reserved for people with vaginas it always comes back to genitalia every single time some school sports bills and bathroom bills from republicans could literally lead to genital checks of children but yet they do it because they are obsessed. I mean, when a man from Kelowna, British Columbia accused a nine-year-old cis girl of being trans, he reportedly asked to see documentation proving that she was born a girl and his wife allegedly called her parents genital mutilators. I mean, it always comes back to genitals for these freaks at the end of the day. And then they project their obsession with genitals onto trans people and accuse them of perving on cis women in bathrooms, for example, because that's what they want to do. Not necessarily Bill Maher, but transphobes more broadly speaking. And then also they'll accuse parents with trans kids of being genital mutilators after they probably circumcised their sons. Every single accusation is a confession. And that statement is especially true when it comes to accusations that Republicans lob at LGBTQ plus people. And apparently it also applies at Bill Maher, who wants you to think that he is a liberal or a trans ally even, which is comical at this point. But that's not really surprising to anyone who pays attention. Bill Maher has turned to the dark side and uh, he keeps bringing on evil people, deranged people like Riley Gaines and Jordan Peterson, but he doesn't platform the people who he likes to denounce because he's not trying to actually search for the truth. He wants confirmation bias and he's bringing on Republicans the most because currently they're the ones who are affirming the biases that he holds, even if he claims he's still a liberal, and it's really the left who changed and not him. Well, if that were true, don't you think that he wouldn't talk to so many right-wingers constantly? Don't you think that you'd be able to have a conversation with a left-winger or even a liberal without frothing at the mouth? I mean, Bill Maher is a pathetic piece of shit, but this is kind of a new low. To obsess over somebody's genitals is despicable. And if you think this isn't a big deal, imagine if this were being done to your sister or someone else you loved.